hey yeah I've got an 8350 here now at first I couldn't pick this because I'm better at combination locks than key tumbler locks if I show you the bitting it has six pins one two three four five six so to learn how to get into this lock I opened it up and I pinned it up with only the first few pins and then I got good at that learned a few lessons and then I put in another pin after that and got good at picking that and then five pins and then six pins finally I could pick it with six pins and the lessons I learned were I need top of the keyway for a start top of the keyway tension so my my pick can get underneath to get to those back pins and also more importantly and I'll draw a picture for this Okay, with this lock it doesn't seem to have any spools but if I draw a picture of the key pins the key pin is sort of like this but instead of going straight across it has a bit of a bevel to it and if I draw the driver pin I'll use a, uh, a black pen for the driver pin it's the same same sort of thing has a bevel okay and the springs are up here and what happens is that the shear line can get caught on that little bevel and for example okay if the shear line is actually and I'll use pencil maybe for the shear line if the, if the shear line is it could be here okay you can see with this one it what would happen when I would push it up it would click but it would be caught on this bevel and it wouldn't be set properly to the shear line so what I'd have to do is when everything seems set in this lock I would have to put my pick underneath and give it a little bit of a nudge to make sure that it's set properly at the shear line and sometimes if it's set too far instead of pushing it I would need to sort of tension the uh, tensioner off and on as I'm raking across to make sure these jiggle into the right line. So sometimes just a gentle push onto each one helps and sometimes I have to rake across while jiggling the tensioner and so that's what I found because I was even though I was using the correct technique the lock wasn't opening until I found out that I just had to jiggle the pins so that they don't get caught on these tapers and they actually go to the shear line so the lock can open so okay so what I do top of the keyway tension it's locked up So I'm going to the back, starting at the back of the lock. Everything seems jiggly, so see so everything seems set. So I'm going to just break across all the pins, tension the tension a bit, and it opens. Okay, so that's how I get into this lock. Thanks.